Hi there, and in this video I want to show you how uh, to simplify a little bit your code without having to, for example, use uh, so many autoload uh, scripts by using static variables. And to understand this, I have created this pretty simple example project that basically has a canvas layer that will read uh, the value inside of this label text, basically of this global variable that I have set up that it is this score. And then I have like some buttons over here and when they are pressed, this variable is increased and they are deleted. Uh, as a result, this is the product that we have. I basically have different buttons and when I click, the score basically uh, goes up. Now, of course, there are like not many problems with this code. It is clean, it is going to be efficient, but there is a way of even making it a little bit better. Of course, autoloads are an amazing tool that Godot provides us uh, to, to cope with these things, uh, to have, in this case, just a global variable. But also what we have to remember is that these uh, autoloads, uh, also the other functionality that they have is to keep um, this data between scenes. So if we change from the main scene to level two scene, level three, three scene, etc., this score variable will 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 persist between these scene changes. So that's the another advantage of um, of these kinds of auto loads that they never get deleted. And in this example, we are not actually taking advantage of this. What we want to do is to share a variable between the different button instances. We do not want to share this data between different scenes. That's why uh, there, there is a, a better way of doing this that was introduced in Godot 4.0 and that is static variables. So to understand this, let me delete this global script. Okay. And let's start refactoring our code. First of all, in my, in my button script, now we don't have anymore this uh, score variable. And what I want to do is to create this static variable. So to create this static variable, you type static var and the syntax is the same one. So I will put just a score and I will initialize it as an integer. So by doing this, what is going to be happening is, is that now this score variable is, is not going to be anymore attached to every single instance of this button, but it's going to be stored in the script resource itself. So this means that every single button, okay, is going to be having access to this exact same score variable. It's going to be shared in every single of these, basically. So now, of course, we want to increase this variable. We don't have any more this kind of global score. And in reality, if we do it like this, let me just print here the result that we are going to be getting. Well, now let me comment out, uh, or actually let me firstly delete this auto load from here. And also in the canvas layer script, I will have a small error over here. So let me do this and pass so that now we shouldn't have any error. And now in my console, I see one, two, three, four, five. Okay. When in reality, if we didn't put the static variable, what we would see is basically always a one 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 why because button one for example has its own score button two has its own score and when we are pressing it we are increasing buttons one score okay when we are pressing button two we are increasing its own score so they are independent variables but when we make this static they are now sharing the exact same variable. So when I increase this score from button five, it will also increase the score of button one, for example. And that's why when I play, I have one, two, three, four, five, etc. Now I will delete this print statement. And in my canvas layer, I will once again refactor this code. Now there are many ways of refactoring this code. I will show you two of them, the two main ways that exist. And then you will choose which one to to you so let me comment out actually this once again and the first way that maybe you have seen is that well you create some kind of export variable or that you basically have access to this uh, script itself this could be with an export variable with a preload variable etc uh so i will basically call this one button okay button button script or actually i will call it a plus one button okay so that it is more emphatic because 
if I named the variable button, it could reference to an actual button, but I don't want like the button node. I want the the plus one button, okay, script. Um, and in this case, um, this is going to be of type just a script. And like this, now when I go to my canvas layer, I'll have this plus one button I can and I can quick load it. So now I have access to this. And now I can modify the label text, accessing directly this plus one button like this. So now uh, I can basically run this scene. And as you can see, we are going to be getting the result that we want. This is going to be just fine. But another way of doing this that I believe is a little bit easier because we don't need a variable. is basically declaring here a class name. So class names are usually declared on top of extends. So we can declare here a class name. This has many usages, okay? But one of them is this. Uh, and we'll call it plus one button okay so now we can directly reference this class from here okay so i can basically let's make sure that our changes are saved with Control c and let's write plus one button okay now as you can see we don't anymore have that error and actually we are going to be having as you can see code completion over here or the completion and when we play there we have it okay everything is working as expected so once again um using an auto load is not going to be something bad it, it will still be like a good practice to use auto loads but well it's better to just take advantage of the latest go to features such as static variables now let me show you an actual example where using an auto load would be useful in in a in a real project okay in a complete game so okay here i have a, an actual project let me Quickly, just see, yes, here I have disabled the music audio because I want to be playing it so that we don't get distracted. So, well, this is the game that that, uh, that I have. Um, so, basically, I have to dodge. Here's some vehicles, collect coins, whatever. Um, and here I actually have a lot of auto loads. Actually, this game doesn't use static variables because I didn't need to. But as you can see, I have a ton of auto loads. Uh, and let me show you why I have actually used uh, these auto loads instead of static variables so for example in these last three okay that are actually scenes fade music audio and ui audio i auto loaded them because i didn't want to access variables i just wanted to access scenes themselves i wanted to preserve to pre persist this music audio in every single scene so that the music plays continuously in the menu in the main scene etc and then the fade itself, well, this handles fade, so I, I needed uh, both the, the different elements of the scene, such as this color rect uh, being uh, animated with this fade uh, animation, and I also needed uh, these functions, change scene, for example, first fade, etc. And then with UI audio, this is quite similar to the music, I just wanted to have global access to this UI audio node, so that I could play this audio whenever I needed to in different parts of the game so as you can see i was not really storing any kinds of variables in in neither of these but i was in this global and for example in this case this was because i had this variable speed and this is the variable that handles how fast the the player moves how fast the background scrolls how fast the vehicles move etc so basically by creating this global variable it is much easier to access them because in the player i can just go over here and do global speed okay then in the vehicle i do the same global dot speed in the background global dot speed and check how i am actually accessing this in different scenes the player is its own scene the background is its own uh, scene and the vehicles themselves also have their own scene so of course if i made these variables this speed variable static it wouldn't work that's why i actually needed an auto load a uh, variable so basically if you want to access a variable globally in a same scene okay you can use a static variable but if you want to access a variable in different scenes for example here vehicle scene background scene player scene etc then you must use uh, an auto load if you are serious about leveling up your godat skills check out my course 
in less than 6 hours, you'll master Godot fundamentals while building this amazing project. Links in the description. See you there.